Yo, what's up? What's going on, guys? It's your partner here, back with another video on the channel. And today, I finally unlocked this sword right here. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the Spicy Reaper Falcon. So basically, what this does is this basically is the best sword in the Revenant collection, and this thing is very powerful. So let's just give you a quick preview of this sword here. Okay, as you can see, this sword has the ability of heal 10 heart per hit. Honestly, if you ask me, it doesn't only heal 10 heart. I feel like heals more than just 10 heart, and it also do plus 200% damage to zombies. Only specifically for zombies so this sword is for you to defeat revenant and specifically for revenant only because revenant is a zombie if you don't know by the way and it also received 20 percent less damage from zombies including the boss so basically the boss is now not as strong as it is while you're holding this sword while fighting him it also give you plus 200 intelligence which i don't really think it's that necessary but if it offers you something just take it all right so i added a bunch of enchantment into this sword right here so basically i added all the good enchantment but i don't really want to add Venomous, if I expect those stuff to the sword yet, just in case if something happens because this thing is actually too OP to mess up. Okay, so I actually put Smite on it because this sword is specifically for zombies only. So I'm not gonna use it on general use like uh, killing other mobs with it because this is specifically for zombies and I'm only gonna use it for zombies. I'm sure that you guys watch a lot of videos out there saying that this thing can help you to do up to 60 to 70k damage and I can tell you that it is actually true. But first thing first, I have to fully max it out. As you can see, I only have two hot pitted book on this sword and i actually want to max it out by putting 10 on it what we're gonna do here i actually bid on some of the hot pitted books because i'm done buying them off merchants just too much time as you can see here i have seven out of eight so basically i have like seven here including the one that i already have right here so in total eight plus this sword already have two in so i need exactly eight we're gonna put them all onto this sword first and then let's see how it goes that's one that's two that's three, that's four, that's five, six, seven, and this is the last one. Eh, okay, there you go. So this is fully maxed out. Yes, I know. I didn't put like critical six, my six, giant clear six, those kind of enchantment on this because I just don't want to spend too much money on this thing considering it's already good enough because honestly, why is this sword so good? Why can't it do so much damage to zombies? This is because of this ability here that I already show you which is still plus 200% damage to zombies and also it's healing perks against the boss. So basically, the idea is with this sword, you can solo T4 zombies and you know why soon because I'm gonna demonstrate. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to be wearing here which is the full gold Godly Superior Set and a uh, Radiant Power Up, which is what I'm gonna use here. I'm not gonna use a one of Mending because it's not necessary. And the sword, of course, is the Spicy Reaper Falcon. And considering that this is not a legendary weapon, it's only an epic weapon, the refresh is kind of bad. As you can see, Spicy only gives you plus 32% critical damage, which is quite bad. If you compare it to the legendary refresh, which gives you plus 50% critical damage, so that's like 18% different. And that 18% can change a lot of things. And also, I'm going to be using potion to maximize my damage so i'm only going to be using strength 5 and critical 3 i'm not gonna use like critical 4 and strength 7 nah we don't need that okay my goal is to hit like 55k damage or 60k damage and then i'm happy one minute 37 seconds later okay so we're kind of halfway there and actually i think if i part right now just in case if i forgot to part later and also i'm not using regeneration potion the only healing i'm gonna get is from my sword so basically vampirism and also the ability of this sword and also the radiant power up that's the only regen i'm gonna get also life steal more moments later okay so i accidentally summoned him i was gonna say something before i summoned him but since I already summoned him, then we're gonna fight him. As you can see that I'm healing faster than he doing damage to me. So, the idea is this sword is gonna help you to heal as much while you're fighting him. And also, you're gonna do a crap tons of damage while fighting him. So, okay. If you don't stop hitting him, then basically, you keep regening. And of course, if you stop hitting him, then you have a high chance of dying too. Because this boss is not a joke. His damage is still pretty real, even to a superior person. Okay, so last fight was such a fail. And this time, I want to challenge how fast I can kill this boss. So I'm going to spawn another one. And also, I'm going to look at my top damage because I didn't see it last game. So I'm going to summon him here. So you're dead and you're going to summon the boss. Okay, I'm going to stick here and let's see how fast this guy can kill me then. Uh-oh, I forgot to put down my op. Uh oh. Okay, let me just. Okay, whatever. Let's fight. Let's fight. Come on. Let's fight. Okay, let's see how fast we can kill this guy. And let's see our top damage here. Um, if you guys can help me to see it, then it'd be the best. 
because I can't really see it. 61k, basically. I saw it on the last hit. So yeah, guys, basically, this sword is the key for you to solo tier 4 Revenant. Without this sword, I actually tried before. You can actually solo this boss without the Reaper Falcon, but the chance of you successing is quite low. And you actually need to play very smart, like you have to run away when he's on range. But with this sword, you can actually kill him before he even go on range. But even if he go on range, the sword can heal you faster than him dealing damage to you. So you're still at full health. Conclusion, this sword is totally worth it and it is actually a beast. Being able to do so much damage is just such a joy. So yeah, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace out and have a nice day.